Yo, what's going on everyone? Good afternoon. We are here. It doesn't actually say it, but this is WWT Raceway, also known as the better half of Gateway. Now, here, we are here for the Xfinity Series uh, Fantasy 6, and if you recall, it's been a while since I've done this, I know, but this is the season where I have four times tire wear, no cautions, <laughs> and a whole lot of fun. So, uh, we are qualifying P14. Now, I do want to say, Gateway is not my best track. It is hands down, like, out of all the mile and a halfs on the entire game, it is probably my weakest. Now, that being said, of course, we are still doing a default setup. The only thing I changed is the front weight right here. Wedge, I literally just knocked it up uh, to these two numbers right here. And then over here, I adjusted the right track bar as well as the brake bias. So, it is definitely... It, it, we'll see, we'll see. We qualify P14, but in terms of the actual race, we do have stages on, so it's going to be a work in progress. So, we'll have to see what we can do on our pit stops and make adjustments and so on and so forth but yeah <laughs> chat we have a lot to talk about today so hopefully let's just sit back relax and have a good race it's a default setup but i changed almost everything what no oh, david you know me by now literally i don't change everything i change like four things it's a default setup with minor adjustments sir by the way david how are you doing today my dude Glad you can uh, come on out. Are you excited for? Uh, are you excited for today? All right, coming to the green, starting right behind Ross, who's also in the round of 12. Which, by the way, uh, Chad, this is the opening round for the playoffs, so definitely want to watch out here. They love to stack up on uh, on uh, that corner, so I just really took a uh, wide berth right there. We want to get to the bottom as soon as possible. You're freaking pumped? Oh, dude, tell me about it. I am super excited for uh, for uh, all the Darlington races. <coughs> oh, cough, I'm dying, chat. Um, for every single Darlington race. like um, They already showed that today is going to be uh, a little bit on the rainy side, but honestly, that shouldn't be that big of a deal because, you know, obviously with Darlington having lights, it's going to be pretty much a it's it's gonna end under under the lights anyway even if it starts regularly at 3 30. but yeah it's just so nice to have racing back in real life you know you know i remember uh i think it was the head of the nba uh saying that uh you know one of the major sports in america had to do it first and you know nascar i guess is with it taking the first step you know it just opens the door for the rest of sports so i'm glad i'm glad Stay low. All right, Brandon Jones, you can decide to go away anytime now. All right, you're clear. But yeah, no, I, I'm freaking pumped. David, who do you think is going to win? Who do you have your money on? Because I told uh, the stream yesterday that I feel like there's going to be three drivers that I have, uh, that I anticipate winning. One of them is Logano. Yeah, exactly. I knew... I knew you were about to say that. That's why I was just like, okay, now let me say it at the same time. I think Joey is going to be one of those that I think has a major chance. Um, the other two is Harvick or uh, Kyle Bush. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Looks like we have a sack up up here. I think Christopher Bell is actually holding up the entire field. I know, won the war. <laughs> Can I get some won the wars in chat? That was a great lap. Ooh! Ooh. Inside, all around. Damn, what was that sack up there, dude? What's up, Cod Life? How are you doing today? It is race day, finally! Man, I hate it when they stack up like that. There's no way you can uh, you can stop it. All right, Brandon Jones is there. We have to give him some room. Kyle Larson. Oh yeah, he's just kidding. Um, midway through the race after stage two, uh, all of a sudden you're just gonna hear, "By God, is that Kyle Larson's theme?"
Oh yeah, this damage is really hurting now. Taking away all of our uh, forward forward bite. What's up, Sublime? How you doing today? Definitely have a lot of adjustments to do on uh, pit stops. <laughs> What's up, my IQ? Dude, same. Car outside. Hold your line. All clear. Car down the inside. Oh, okay, John Hunter. John Hunter going, uh, being a badass over here. Now, honestly, I don't know where I'm expecting to finish today. Because this is one of those tracks that... Ugh, I don't know. It is very hit or miss. Who's going to win? Jimmy Johnson says Cod Life. There you go. Playing some Apex there, uh, Sublime? Nice. Never actually got into Apex. I never actually got into, like, any major shooters. To be honest. Though I do hear that Apex is intrinsically better than, like, Fortnite. So, I don't know. Okay, well, on the plus side, looks like we're catching Christopher Bell. So, there's that. Who's my pick to win? I have three. I th and call me plain Jane on this, but I feel like it's going to be one of these three. It's going to be uh, Joey Logano. Ooh, wow. Tight. Yeah, and that's just the damage right there. It's going to be Joey Logano, Kyle Busch, or Kevin Harvick. It's going to be basically the veterans. Like, someone who you would expect to win week in, week out. Car down the inside. All clear. Look at inside now. Oh, Kaz. Okay, Kaz. Got one inside. Man, they just gas up in the center of the corner and just like, bam. As for current battle royales, Apex is uh, currently my favorite. That's awesome, man. One thing I do uh, have on here for today is less tire wear effect on the AI. So this is probably what is going on right now about how I'm just getting trounced is because they technically have better tire wear than I do. So I'm just kind of up and dying. But, you know, that just makes the challenge. You know, it, it basically means, okay, now, now you got to get better. All clear. So who knows? This may just be, uh, you think Clint Boyer? Oh, man. Glenn Boyer is going to just come back and trounce, ev trounce everyone from uh, the Pro Invitational Series. Careful, still there. Yeah, I'm dying right now. Tyler is looking fine, but... I need to repair this damage. Hold your line. Got one inside. It's hurting. Inside. And do you think Brad Keselowski is going to win? I, I mean, honestly, this this race is anyone's guess because of uh, um, because of uh, no practice or qualifying. These are the first time that they're actually going to get into the car in God knows how long. Still there. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, well, yeah, exactly. We'll have to see uh, where everyone goes. And how everyone finishes. Because it's just, it's probably going to be a matter of uh, where everyone stacks up and if everyone can avoid the wrecks. Because you can't imagine that there's going to be, uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of wrecks. Your serious pick is uh, Ryan Blaney. Honestly, I can see Ryan as well. I mean, he's been on a hot streak before the uh, season started, so I, I totally get you. Oh, yeah, so we have some early stoppers, it looks like. Looks like we'll be pitting here in about two, three laps, or about probably in about two laps or so. Ahead of 
All right, now, Chad, if you know, literally, uh, Gateway is the worst track to get on pit lane for because you have to take the uh, escape road that's right there, and it is absolutely garbage. Oh my god, I hate it so much. What's up, T Rich? How you doing today? All right, we're going to be stopping next time, next time. Cod Life, my favorite driver, uh, my favorite driver is Chase Elliott. What the hell? Oh my god, okay. You're going too fast. Damn, Stephen Light. Alright, so we gotta do that. And we gotta bring this up. Actually, we gotta bring this down. Bring that to like 26. Bring this to like 27 and a half. Yeah, Christ. Good on uh, playing Darlington as well. Oh, this is Gateway. This is Gateway, uh, T Rich. But it's a Darlington lookalike because of how egg shaped it is. Uh, Chase who, David? Oh my god, stop. Cod, uh, oh, I mean, uh, obviously, hopefully, Chase wins, but I mean, I honestly don't expect it. Smith, how are you doing today? Uh, so it's a 40% chance of rain at 3 in Darlington. Yeah, that's unfortunate that uh, that's what's... All right, yeah, yeah, that is what's expected. Oh my god, with uh, that abs that plow right there by Stephen Light, it actually brought us down six whole positions. Gotta love it. Alright, so this is going to be like one of those races that is just going to be an absolute wash, it looks like. All clear. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not going to get rained out because uh, I heard that the uh, rain's supposed to stop. Uh, uh, rain's supposed to stop in um, at least by six. So, if anything, it's just a night race. We waited this long just to go back to racing and range only comes in. Name a more NASCAR thing to do, right? Name a more 2020 NASCAR thing to do. Think about it. Every race except ISM has had some kind of rain. Back up in the 23rd right now. But yeah, I don't think it's going to get rained out, T-Rich. Because if anything, it'll just be a night race. I'll destroy turn three right there. Rocket Man comes back and wins. Oh, can you imagine? That would be the fairy tale story right there. Just be a bit going from a near-death experience, then all of a sudden, boom, wins, goes and wins the damn race. After coming back. That would be fantastic. Oh my god. Uh, T-Rich says, I live in Phoenix where ISM uh, in rain is rare. It's like a gift from God. Oh, I'm just saying, like, every race um, so far this season, minus out Phoenix, has had some kind of rain delay. It's actually absurd. It's going to rain every day this week at Darlington. Well, it's a good thing that uh, everyone has lights. It doesn't in Daytona. It, it doesn't rain Daytona. I 
I would believe Newman had a chance if he wasn't in a good car. Well, I mean, Roush, I mean, Roush seems to have upped their program. I mean, Chris Buescher is doing really well. He's currently outside uh, the playoff picture looking in, but he is honestly one of my favorite midfield drivers. You got room. You're clear. 42 is going to win. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm going to be on the lookout for Matt Kenseth, honestly. I want to see what he's going to do. I mean, because realistically, Matt Kenseth has not been in a car in, what, over two years? Uh, well, I guess a year and a half because he uh, he filled in for uh, Trevor Bain in the six. So there's that. Matt Kenseth can eat rocks? What are you talking about, David? Dude, Matt Kenseth is... I'm just so glad Matt uh, is back in uh, back in uh, NASCAR. I mean, honestly, he's like the Biff, you know? And how uh, he's been uh, taking some races for, uh, for KBM. Which he's supposed to... Rumor mill, at least, is that he's supposed to come back for the uh, triple truck challenge, but I don't know if they're even still doing that now. Todd 10 for Jimmy? I hope so. I want Jimmy to do really well for his farewell season, because no matter what, this is his farewell season. Oh, okay. What don't you like about him, David? Oh, are you still mad about how uh, he wrecked Joey in 2015? Oh my god, okay, I knew that's how- Okay, as I thought about it, I'm just like, okay, this is probably about how uh, Matt uh, wrecked Joey in uh, 2015. But I'm just like, you know... You know, sure, I'm still a little uh, salty that uh, Denny Hamlin, you know, with uh, Chase Elliott. But you know what? It's just one of those things, man. So, you, oh, yeah, so you went to the uh, Phoenix race there, T-Rich? And you got to see that, uh, the music video uh, live? I don't... No, if I actually saw that. I knew that it was a thing to being made, but I don't remember if I actually remember seeing it. Joey deserved to get Rex Hessman. Ooh, those are fighting words there. Dave was about to bring out his, uh, his mod privileges and just be like, what did you say? You want to repeat that? Will Darlington get this uh, postponed? No. They have lights. It's not supposed to rain all night. It's only supposed to rain for, uh, a little bit. We'll be fine. Alright, well, someone's blowing up up here. Well, Denny Hamlin stripping the win from Matty D. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, in in terms of like, all fairness, it is a competition. Uh, Matty D uh, got in contact with Ryan Newman, and it forced his car plowing tight the rest of uh, the race. So, you know, crap happens. Jimmy Hill's been now. <laughs> 
20% chance of rain. Honestly, I'll take those right now. And then Smitten just swearing that uh, he deserved to get wrecked. Oh, rip. No damage, though, so that's fine. Just a little bit too wide right there. You know, I'm surprised that Bell's not in the playoffs, honestly. Not in real life, but I'm talking about in the game right here. Bell is not in the playoffs. I could get away with uh, rights only. Alright, so next time, next time. You're almost out of gas. Your tires are getting pretty bad. Yeah, tell me about it. Joey is a saint. I about to say, David's about to come in with a vengeance and be like, What'd you say, punk? Kind of slot in right here. Getting low on gas. Getting low on gas. You're running on fumes out here. God, I hate, I hate, I hate this pit lane. Drop your speed, driver. All right, just enough fuel to get by. Right sides only, and first down. <laughs> he does no wrong. What rookie do you think uh, will be Hall of Fame worthy? Uh, Christopher Bell, if he gets his crap together. So we're not going to be fastest here, but as long as we keep on the lead lap, we'll be good. Five to go. Personally, I don't think Joey's better than Kyle. I think Kyle is the objectively better driver, honestly. But that's just me. Saying Joey is a saint is like saying the Bush Brothers don't have anger issues. Hmm. I don't know about that. I feel like that's kind of comparing apples to oranges there. I mean, no one's objectively a saint. I mean, like, let's be honest here. Oh, there's my left side's uh, wearing right now. What do you say was the best final laps of last year's Cup Series? Hmm. Of last year's Cup Series? Um, for me, honestly, I'd have to say uh, Bristol for one. Or... Um... Talladega. Uh, Fall Talladega. All right, you're clear. Car outside. Clear high, bud. You're wearing out the rubber. Wearing out the rubber. Alright, I just gotta make my left front last. Dura last. Alright, so these should be on the last lap, so we should be good. 
Oh yeah, New Hampshire. Yeah, that was also another another one. To be honest, New Hampshire's so forgettable for me. Like I I even forget sometimes it's even on the schedule. Up. Oh. Brand Jones is tied to Brandon Jones. Oh. Jesus. Inside. Clear low, bud. Nice driving then. Oh, cool. Driver. I feel like it was uh, when the Bush Brothers battle for the win. Oh, in, in Kentucky? Uh, yeah, there was a, there's a lot of great finishes there, uh, T. Rich. So, it's honestly, I don't know. I don't know. So many great battles. Daniel Suarez might win. Oh, nah, that's a hot take right there. Um, what am I going to do here? Um, I need to bring this up a little bit. I went the wrong way. I'll try... Screw it, I'll try 30. And pump that up to 50. See how we do. Alright, so gained a spot there somehow. The fans are not social distancing. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready here. Man, it's gonna be so weird seeing a completely empty... Uh, completely empty uh, track. Car low now. Alright, so we just literally moved back to where we uh, were in the beginning of the race. Ooh. Went a little too wide there. Three wide between Austin Cindric and uh, Jeremy Clemens, and Jeremy Clemens just gets by both of us. <laughs> what fans? Still there. I just get so tight on uh, yeah, exit two. There. How many laps at Darlington? I do believe it's two ninety three. I could be mistaken on that though. Stay on the bottom here. All right, you're clear. During the race, everyone, uh, look look at that. Sold out grandstands. Well, I mean, honestly, what's going to be really cool is that they're going to use more drone shots because without any fans in the stands, they can actually just put drones over uh, the stands and get some really cool camera angles. So I'm actually looking forward to that. Pulse the throttle a little bit. Chat, let's do a little bit of a crank it up. Inside.
Alright, so, what's here? I love getting third party into Oblivion. What do you mean? Oh god, I was so blasted tight right there. I hope for a top 10 finish here. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. It's gonna take a lot of uh, Ram Guts and Glory. Oh, Apex Fights. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I was about to say, like, I thought this was, like, something going on with, uh, on the inside. Awesome. like, I don't know, Twitch or something like that. Well, is it, okay, I thought, I thought today was the 400 miler, correct? Because it, I do, I thought it was the Real Heroes 400. If it's 400 laps, it's 293. Or is it it's 400 miles, it's 293 laps. Can someone confirm if it's the 400 miler or the 500 miler? On the inside. Oh, okay, Justin Haley, there you go. Not quite clear. Okay, cool. I was about to say, because if it was the 500 mile, then yeah, it would be 367 laps, but 400, no, 293. Don't worry about it, T-Rich. Inside. All clear. Yeah, Brandon Jones, get back there. Get out of my face. But still, 400 miles at uh, Donington is going to feel like forever. Because uh, even though they hit, like, uh, they hit insane speeds, like what, of uh, 180 going to turn one, it is, they still turn, like, uh, 32, 33 second lap time. So if we times that out by 400, we're at least expecting, like, a four or five hour race. That's long for a uh, for a four uh, for a four mile. Austin Cindric, why you like this to make things three wide like that? I have to back out. I don't want none of that. Still there. All right, how's my tires doing? Eh, could be better. I could actually blast this thing with tape, but like I don't I don't want a Denny Ham on this, you know? Stay on the bottom here. It's also now at the point where my tires are really starting to fade. Yeah, 293 uh, laps there, Cod Life. Yeah, I get you. But honestly, if we turn our attention to uh, Heat 5, I wonder how they're going to deal with the schedule. If it's gonna, just going to be what the schedule was supposed to look like, or if it's actually if they're going to change it to what the schedule actually is. You know, so like when you run career, if... Uh, the fourth race of the season is going to be a Darlington race, or if it's just if it was supposed to be uh, um, what uh, basically what what it was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Eleven races total this month, and I know Kyle Busch and uh, Timmy Hill are trying to do them all. They're doing the 11 races, uh, or 7 races in 11 days. I don't see why they would change it. I mean, I'm just saying in terms of, like, what is actually going on with NASCAR. That's, that's what I could expect. But, I mean, who knows? 
I highly doubt they're going to change it and just be... The schedule is just going to be what the 2020 schedule was supposed to be, you know? Will Brad win this year? Oh, yeah, he'll eventually win a race. You're almost out again. Where and when is up in the air. Getting ahead of you. Alright, we're pitting next time, next time. You're wearing those tires down, driver. Oh, you think uh, he's gonna win uh, twice at Kentucky and Michigan? Okay. I honestly don't know. All right. I am gonna be extremely careful here. Oh, extremely careful, my butt. Take care of those tires. Yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. You're going too fast. All right, so I lost a lot of time there, but you know what? It's better than just getting punted off by uh, the flex seal cars behind me. So you know what? Screw it. Whatever. Chase will win at Bristol. Chase is definitely going to win. I want. It's going to be at a at a road course though. Ready to go. You got this. I feel like it's going to be. Uh, if I were to, if I was a betting man, at least, I feel like it would be. Um, as much as I want to say Watkins Glen, I think it's going to be the Roval again. I don't think uh, Wa I don't think he's going to go three in a row at Watkins Glen. I hope he wins at a Bristol though. That would that would be insane. Okay, get back in there. Let's yeah, I I hate this pit road so much. It is absolutely trash. But yeah, Chap, I I know that we're all excited for Darlington race, uh, for this Darlington race, but honestly, I I have to say thank you to everyone that has been stepping up during this uh, whole COVID-19 stuff, I guess I should say. Because being able to go anywhere safely, I like it's the medical staff that I really want to appreciate. And honestly, my uh, cousin, who is a registered nurse, I know is overwhelmed with all this stuff. So definitely, definitely, I have to say thank you to all the medical staff. You know, they are the real MVPs, so. Based on the horror stories that I've been hearing from uh, her, I can only imagine it's worse in other places. Considering Bowman uh, got a win or so early in the season, do you think this will be his breakout year? Oh, I think so. I think his breakout year was uh, when he finally got that monkey off his back with, this, uh, with the uh, win last year, honestly. Win the race for them? Oh, that is going to be very hard, but I'll definitely try. How about this? I have a league race tonight. Um, I can... I have a better chance at winning that race than I do this race. And that, you know, it's weird when you have, uh, when you can say, I think uh, I will do better in a league race than I will a single player race. After a win last year, he's shown so much more of his personality. Oh yeah, I mean, he's finally got that monkey off his back, you know? that nagging sensation be like okay now i gotta show mr h that i can actually win races and you know and he did very it was a very damn good race in chicagoland and then uh going up with a dominating win at auto club honestly he chase should have won las vegas if his pit crew didn't mess up but if it would have went green i think bowman would have won uh las vegas 
Oh, yeah, yeah, same, exactly. I like Bowman. I, I couldn't wait for him to get his first win. It was only a matter of time, honestly. Same thing with Byron. Byron's eventually is going to get his first win, too. Yeah, I, I do believe this is going to be Hendrix here, though. I think they're back in fighting contention. And it only took uh, a handful of years, but the uh, Chevrolet now, they seem to have figured out the new Camaro, and they're actually good. What driver do I hate the most? I don't objectively hate anyone. There's ones that I just feel are overrated, and I just don't care about them. And then to me, the major one I think is Austin Dillon. To me, nothing screams, why should I like this guy, you know? Oh, yeah, Sublime, I get you. You're getting the 300 drivers in there. You chase to get at least three wins this season. I mean, he's been doing that uh, for the past two seasons, so. It's only. If you think about it, it's only race five of the season, so plenty of racing left. But, what's up, NASCAR? How are you doing today? I'm doing really good, my dude. Thanks for asking. Ready for uh, watch some Darlington action. It's gonna be weird to uh, see it as a non-throwback, uh, non-throwback race. God, like saying Jimmy needs to win at Dover. Honestly, yeah, it's his best track, statistically speaking. So, I I, I hope Jimmy gets at least one more win to uh, to kind of put a stamp on uh, his final season. Uh, just remember, Ty Dillon is bad. Uh, is bad to get a uh, a ride in RCR. Oh yeah. Well, the thing is, compared to the two, I honestly think Ty Dillon is the better driver. You know, being able to wheel the uh, crap box that is Jermaine uh, racing into a uh, well, what two stage wins last year? Absolutely insane. Austin Dillon can barely hold a line, <laughs> let alone get a stage win. I'm glad you're doing good, uh, NASCAR. Ask he's asking for everyone's pick. So, uh, I say I have three drivers. I think, um, Kyle, um, Logano, and, Har and or Harvick. Well, not and or, but or Harvick. Austin has accomplished more in truck and Xfinity uh, in the same equipment. But I'm just talking about in Cup. And I know, I know, Austin Dillon got, has two wins. But I'm talking about in terms of driving style. Being able to put together an entire race, you know? I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I think put Ty in, in a main branch RCR car, and I think he'll do better. However, I do believe the future uh, with RCR lies in Tyler Reddick, so yeah. You think Bid, uh, Big Bad Brad's going to win their NASCAR? I, I don't know. This is anyone's race, honestly. Like, this is... We're in uncharted territory. No practice, no qualifying. When they go and start up the engines, this is the first time they'll be back in an actual real race car in like two and a half months. So, we're in uncharted waters. Oh yeah, people are saying Brad is going back to a Hendrick because it's a contract year and there is an available number. However, 
If it's not Brad, I think it's going to be Noah. Noah Graxon. I mean, that's just... I'm just saying that because Noah has money. Has sponsorships uh, lined up. I mean, he's a personality as well. I mean, have you seen his Instagram? Oh my god, it's hilarious. I mean, don't get me wrong. Noah has... Uh, is a, is really aggressive in terms of his uh, driving style, but dude, dude's hilarious. I love him. His celebration at uh, Daytona was absolutely actually was actually phenomenal. It was like one of the best. Uh, it was one of the best celebrations I've ever seen. Well, if he wants a veteran driver, then that just opens the door for uh, Brad. And I think that's just where a lot of uh, people get that from. I'm just saying, if it's not Brad, it's going to be Noah. And of course, you know, uh, the talk of Kyle Larson joining Hendrick is now out the window. So yeah, right side tires and... Uh, Go right side tires and we'll be good. You're almost out of gas. Slow down. You're going to blow a tire soon. Alright, just enough fuel to get by. Right sides only and we're good. Oh, let's see here. Um, and he's a full-blown personality, but he needs a lot more time and hope they don't rush him. Same. I mean, he's a, he's an aggressive driver. But he's a personality, and I think that he's, he would be a fan favorite, is what I'm trying to say. Um, or Jones, 2-2. Two two. Ugh, please no. First question is, what, is will we make turn one, or will it uh, be a NASCAR heat lobby? Oh, they'll, they'll be exceedingly careful. I mean, there'll be some contact, but I don't think it would be like a heat, lo heat lobby right there. You're clear on pit road. Uh, I feel like they kind of need veteran with the uh, with three young guns. Oh well, yeah. And honestly, Bowman's older than all of them. So, God, I, and he's been in Cup the longest. God, I remember when Bowman first took over the 88. People were thinking that he was a veteran. Nah, nah, dog. <laughs> Far from it. Then Pat won't get the money line two scheme. Well, he already has it. I actually researched it last night. Um, um, Brad Kozlowski already has the money line uh, two scheme. Like he he raced it at Auto Club. Up, oh, someone's out of fuel. Still there. You're all clear on the bottom. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, Bowman's not really young. He's what, 28, 29? You're almost out of gas. I know he's still in his 20s, but he's in the upper 20s. Hey, stage points, chat. Oh, let's see here. I don't know if you saw Eric uh, Estep's video, but he predicts Boyer to retire at the end of the season. Kyle Larson gets that right. God, I, God. No, Kyle Larson doesn't deserve any rides right now. IMO. God, we still have... Wait. We still have 100 laps left? Jesus. He's 27? Oh, interesting. Dang, chat. I had no idea we still had 100 laps left. God almighty. <laughs> All 
Alright, chat, final stage. All the Moneyline schemes driver. look beautiful, and they all look beautiful. Well, God, like I said yesterday, that mint green. Mm. Top tier. Still there. Inside. Got one. Come on, Tyler. Inside. Careful, still there. Come on, Tyler, what are you doing? Inside. And he goes to the bottom as soon as he uh, can right there. Nice, good talk. All right, you're clear. We, we, oh, don't worry about it, man. Fish sticks are amazing. Stay low. God, um, did I tell you about? Okay, this isn't really a story. This is more like a statement. But I've been on like a uh, a fish taco. Uh, binge right now, and just, like, it was like last week or something like that, but made fish tacos out of fish sticks, and it was amazing. Oh my god. It was caloric as hell, but <laughs> sure did, uh, taste good. No, don't worry about it, man. Actually, David, don't worry. Um, depends on the brand and what kind of mac and cheese. What kind of mac and cheese are you talking about? Oh, uh, I get no. We can do a question of the day. I mean, ah, we can do a question of the day here in five laps because it's basically the same thing. Because like stage two ends so closely to uh, the actual halfway point of the race, so yeah, we'll do it here in lap ninety-one. Velveeta, Craft. Okay, chat. Is everyone's favorite mac and cheese shells and cheese or? Is that just me? Because shells and cheese is god tier mac and cheese. I mean, let's be honest here. Because that's Velveeta right there. That's Velveeta brand. Shells, there we go. Sublime, you, you are the man of coal. Oh, there we go. It's shells. It's shells. Yeah. See. Everyone gets it. Shells and cheese is just the god tier mac and cheese. To me, it's the only mac and cheese. Like, it's the only one I'll make. Because, like, when I... Because I used to be a little normie boy. And... Damn! Chase Briscoe, calm down. Because I used to be a little normie boy and uh, would make regular uh, craft, and, craft mac and cheese. You know, and it's good. It's good, but then I discovered Velveeta, shells and cheese, and oh my god, I feel like I had like a food gasm, like when I uh, when I had it, and it was absolutely fantastic. And you know you know what they say when you when you go Mac, you don't go back. So uh, there's that. Hold your line. Okay, you know what, Chase? If you want it so bad, just go ahead and take it. Cheese and crackers. God, life asking who likes bacon mac and cheese. I've actually never had it, honestly. Oh, okay, now who's... Okay, hang on. Hang on, actually, I'll save this for the question today. We got this. You used to have uh, shells and cheese once a week, says Sublime. Damn. All right, halfway to All right, halfway chat. So question of the daytime. Now, this is a pure opinion question. And, of course, if you don't... If you aren't usually a participant of the Private Patton stream, so you don't know who I am, by the way, hi, my name's Private Patton. I uh, stream NASCAR Heat optimally daily, but uh, at least I, I stream it a lot. Let me just say that. Um, we ha usually at uh, halfway point, I ask a question of the day. It's usually like an opinion-based question. Uh, it just it gets the chat involved. So, my question of the day. Hi, David. All right, so, since we're talking about mac and cheese, what is the, I, I guess this is a two-parter. 
what is the dumbest thing you have seen incorporated with mac and cheese? I'll start. So what I mean by that is, like, oh, it's mac and cheese and blank. What is the dumbest? For me, it's mac and cheese with five additional cheeses. Looking inside now. All clear. Got to leave room for Justin Haley. My tires are starting to wear, so makes sense why I'm starting to get past. Tuna, oh, tuna mac and cheese. That's a yeah. That's that's a damn weird one. That's what my dad makes. It was like tuna mac and cheese, and I'm just like, are you absolute? Like, are you a psycho? Are you a sociopath? Ketchup, tea, rich. Oh, uh, now that you brought that up. Okay, so, Chad, what's your opinions on uh, people putting mac? Uh, macaroni and cheese and ketchup. Inside. What's up, Epic? How are you doing today? Two wide, one low. Thank you, Spotter. They need to get their ta <laughs> their taste buds burned. They're the spawn of the devil. <laughs> or that. Careful, still there. They're absolute psychopaths, right? Oh, shift down to third there for like no, no gosh dang reason. Nice, good talk. This <laughs> one's <been> just like <laughs> the weirdest thing to, for mac and cheese is making them SpongeBob, uh, SpongeBob flavored or <laughs> SpongeBob flavored? What? SpongeBob shaped? Okay, I get you. I get you. Looking inside now. Yeah, no, my personal opinion um, on uh, ketchup being mixed with mac and cheese is like, you know, absolute psychopaths. Now, Chad, I'm going to be honest here. I would be, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't try it, you know? I, I would be lying if I said I didn't try mac and cheese with ketchup. It's not what I do. But I have tried it before, and at one point I did like it. But as I grew up, because keep in mind this is like me as a kid. This is like me as a kid trying this. And as I grew up, I'm just like, oh my god, this is actually, this is actually incorrect. This is not how you eat mac and cheese. So I, ever since then, I stopped. God life says I hate bacon. Like, okay, you talk, are you talking like bacon and mac and cheese, or just uh, bacon in general? Because if you hate bacon in general, what are you? Are you even real? So why don't you like multiple cheeses? I absolutely love it. Oh no, I just think. Okay, call me a purist. I think it's uh, if you can't get mac and cheese, to. Uh, if you can't get mac and cheese to taste good with one cheese, then you're not doing it right. You hate bacon in general, Cod Life? Damn! What even are you? You're not American. <laughs> the sublime is like, ban him! <laughs> wow. All of a sudden, the chat just turned 360 on poor Cod Life. Damn. Here he is, actually just straight. This is my personal opinion. And it was just like flaming him. You're gonna blow a tire soon. Gonna blow a tire soon. You like steak better than bacon? Well, that's like, okay, that's comparing two di totally different meats. Because you're talking about uh, pork with uh, uh, pork with cow. Okay, you know what? Okay, that wasn't the best entry right there. That wasn't the best entry right there. I fully admit that. I know. I know. I know. Watch your speed, please. But you know what? I saw someone behind me.
And I'm just like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not going to get in the way. You don't like pig in general? Oh my god. <laughs> Have you seen this one about Ghost of Iran movie? Oh no, that sounds absolutely hilarious though. Uh, I feel like multiple cheeses is just uh, to give you the flavor of the different cheeses. I don't know, but I feel like, for me anyway, the different cheeses, it just... <sighs> How can I put this uh, into words? It, it, it complicates the flavor. That's just me though, that's just me though. You want to try pork chops and applesauce? Ooh, not together. Oh, that sounds absolutely disgusting. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know the cheese, you can taste the difference. Well, maybe I'm just an uncultured swine. Oh, I could have gone down low. Damn it. Still there. All clear. Man, Timmy Hill, look at that. Uh 13th place. Let's go, Timmy. Don't worry, dude. I'm following you all the way. Never mind. I'm passing you. <laughs> Simple. I'm just like, yeah, maybe you are an uncultured swine. Thanks, dude. You're the best. Love you too there, bud. Too bad Timmy won't finish uh, that high in real life. Oh yeah, believe me. Oh, I don't know. Timmy d actually did get a top five or six at Bristol last year. So he did do pretty well in, uh, in that. It's a bootleg Spongebob movie made by the same people who air the show and I ran in Afghanistan illegally oh no is this on YouTube or or is this just like a, a thing that is on like the deep web never make that relation again oh wow T-Rich now that's just T-Rich is just triggered by uh, by Cod Life comparing bacon to tuna damn damn Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Hi Ross. Bye Ross. Who the hell doesn't like bacon? That's cod life. It's a 40 minute video on YouTube. Jesus. Okay, now, let me ask this. Uh, how did you discover it there, Smitten? Give me the who, what, when, where, and why. And most notably, the why. Permission to ban him, sir? <laughs> Don't. Uh, it's fine. No, 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 it's not like it's fine as in, like, do it, but it's fine as in, like, you know what, uh, we'll let this pass. Some people have opinions, <laughs> and some people are wrong. <laughs> No, we're, I'm kidding. God, life, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Any who's it? Oh, man, isn't it interesting? Okay, now, like, I feel like that whole topic just kind of stemmed from, like, Okay, now let's talk about something very similar. Chat, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Because I feel like it's kind of like in that same vein, right? Do I have an Instagram? No, I do not. I wish I did though, because my god, my entire Instagram will just be filled with cat pics. I, I gotta start working on that, honestly. Getting those uh, dang cat pics online. My girlfriend loves it. But she's also wrong. <laughs> oh, David. Sublime says, absolutely not. NASCAR says, heck yeah. Uh, T-Rich says, oh, do it. Okay, that was in regards to the Instagram thing. 
I, like I said, I've been thinking about doing it. But don't tell her I said that. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, your secret's safe with me. Okay, because my personal opinion on pineapple pizza is... Okay. It, okay. Is it weird for me to say that only in certain circumstances, like... I love Hawaiian pizza. You know, you slap some ham, pineapple. On there, and uh, you're good. But on general, in pizza, no. It's only good in that scenario. Is that wrong to say, or no? No, that's where friendships are broken. Because currently we've only had like one, yeah, and that's from NASCAR. Once again, burn them at the stake if uh, they like pineapple on pizza. Okay, but hear me out, chat. Have you guys ever had Hawaiian pizza? That shit's delicious. And it has pineapple on it. However, if you put like pineapple on like a pepperoni and pineapple, that's just wrong. Is it weird to be contradictory like that, chat? This is more turning into, like, let me go through and tell you about my own therapy session. You guys are my therapists. I want to know if there's anything wrong with me. If you, if you like pineapple on pizza, you will be... Yeah, that's that's the first uh, thing that they uh, look for uh, in their draft. He's like, do you look like for uh, pineapple on pizza? Yes. Okay, well, you're not going to be missed by society. Okay. Well, yeah, but, like, I'm just talking about the only one that's here right now. For all I know, David's girlfriend doesn't exist. I'm kidding. I know she, I know she exists. Yeah, but she's wrong. <laughs> okay, so like, I'm just saying, my... No, David, I've seen your girlfriend before. I use her to flex. <laughs> okay, weird flex, but okay. Is, is it like the whole high school thing where, uh... It's like, oh yeah, I have a girlfriend. Oh, but she goes to another school. You won't know her. Is it? Is it like that? All right. So who decided to blow up up here? Oh, is that John Hunter check? No, no, it's Justin Haley. Nice, good talk. Yeah, basically, I diagnose you with wrong. Thank you, Smitten. Okay, well, okay, I'm just saying that, like, if it was a general pizza, then pineapple on pizza is wrong. But only if it's Hawaiian, then it's good. Does that mean I just like pineapple on pizza, or or do I just hate the idea of ha putting pineapple on that pizza? Because I don't know. I don't know, this can go either way. Then again, I've had Skittles on pizza. Oh my god, that sounds absolutely disgusting. That sounds just as good as brushing your teeth and then drinking orange juice. In fact, no, actually, that sounds better. Uh, drinking orange juice and brushing your teeth. I mean, ugh. You're eating salmon, so thoughts on the salmon. Mm, salmon's amazing. I love salmon. Not my go-to kind of fish. Uh, my go-to uh, fish is tilapia. But, you know, salmon's good as well. Nasty are saying, I, I say you like it. Well, then I hate myself. Why, why am I wrong? Because I know it's wrong. But it feels so good. My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body's telling me yes. All right, so we're pinned this time. All 
All right, so no one's around me, so we can actually take pit road normally. Nice. See, this is how I normally enter pit road. But when there's someone behind me, it's like I get nervous. Watch your speed, please. There we go. Oh, uh, Kyla, thank you for picking a track. Where do you want to go? Darlington. Okay. So next time we do online lobbies, we'll be going to Darlington. If there's bacon and salmon and I ran, and I ran I'm in. So, David, do you like uh, salmon as well? Salmon, like I said, salmon's good. I just think tilapia is better. Why is, Kaz, why is Kaz Grala backwards? I love trout and butter and lobster. Oh, my God. But lobster, mm, right there. That is mwah, delicious. A little bit of crab. Mm. I, I also love seafood, so, like, that's just me. NASCAR saying he likes uh, Hawaiian pizza and pepperoni. Well, like I said, that is literally the only pizza that I like uh, Hawaiian on. So, Smith, I'm assuming you don't like salmon. What? Is, what? Why? Why do you not like salmon? Oh, cod is also really good. I'm not so much a fan of catfish, like, but I love me some cod. Crab over lobster? Really? Now, that's a hot take right there. And cod life also saying putting pineapple on pizza is wrong. That's intri it's intrinsically against God. It's a it's a it's a war crime. It was, do you guys know that putting pineapple on pizza was uh, specifically talked about in the Geneva Accords? Mm hmm. Excellent lap. Good job. That's my all time fastest lap around here. Oh, a whole tenth faster than that. Good talk. Careful, still there. You meant pepperoni with pineapple on Hawaiian right, pizza. Elliot Sadler, how did you make it into the playoffs? Well, you're doing a great job, bud. 26. Good talk. Oh, okay, now, chat, this, this is also something that my parents used to do, and now that I carry over. Now that you talk about that, you want uh, lobster wrapped with bacon? Have you guys ever had asparagus, uh, or bacon wrapped asparagus? Oh, my God. So, essentially, what you do is you take, like, three stalks of asparagus, Okay. You wrap it in bacon, put a little parmesan on top of it, cook it in the oven, bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Best vegetable. <laughs> I guess it's not even really that healthy, technically. But yeah, damn, that is amazing. Kyle Life here from Dominican Republic, but live in Massachusetts. Oh my god, nice! Getting some East Coasters in here. I've always wanted to go to the East Coast, honestly. Massachusetts is one of my main states to go because it's just the history and oh my god, the countryside is amazing. All right, Smith, let's calm down there. Like I know that's a meme answer, but like, not saying that out loud. NASCAR is no, but that sounds amazing. Still there. Oh, David, what, what what do you mean? Uh, I don't think that means what you think you All mean. Clear. What were you referring to with that? Yeah, bacon wrapped asparagus is actually amazing. Oh. Like, it is... Like, it's not my go-to uh, comfort food, but, like, it, it it makes for an amazing side dish. Wham, bam, thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, no, that, yeah, that, that clears up right there. Yeah, that's not, that, I, I know what that actually is supposed to refer to, but you know what, whatever.
Um, but yeah, my go-to comfort food, honestly, is I, I also, by the way, chat, I just now realized we've been talking for 50 laps on, uh, for 50 laps just on food alone. So, you know, Chad, this is why I love, I, this is why I love streaming. Just having these just off the wall, uh, conversations with you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you all so much. Um, but anyway, my go-to comfort food is honestly eggs and toast. You put two slices of toast, uh, toast them on, put, uh, toast them on up, put some peanut butter and jelly on top of it, make two eggs, love runny eggs, and then there. Quick, simple, literally it takes five minutes. Time to put on the cooking channel. Oh. Honestly, I, I love, not even the cooking channel, but I love Food Network, honestly. Uh, Food Network has like some of the best shows. Like I love Chopped. I just, seeing what uh, these artists can do with uh, a basket of four ingredients is actually amazing. Yeah, we haven't even touched desserts. Oh wow, butchered three right there. Yeah, that was an awful turn. Oof. I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I do, I'm watching Food Network. I don't watch a lot of TV, but when I do, I'm either watching two channels, Food Network or uh, Fox or NBC for, uh, for NASCAR. Yeah, Food Network's amazing. Oh my god. Jesus, can I like get turn three right? Can I like stop overdriving the corner? I'm entering way too low. That's what I'm doing. What are some good uh, NASCAR Heat leagues to get into? Well, T, T Rich, I, you said you're on Xbox, correct? Because I don't know any about any Xbox leagues, so unfortunately, I don't know what I can do, man. Whoa! Oh, hey, yeah, Jeremy. Hello, Wall. Oh, finally! It only took 130 laps, but our teammate Noah is finally going to lap us. Yeah, um... Uh, T-Rich, there is a league that you'd have to get in touch with another uh, person that frequents this stream. He has his own uh, stream. There's Cozy. Um, Smitten, I don't know about you. Are you accepting new people or no? Yeah, see, we have a whole bunch of wide variety of sports that people watch in here. I see, I see soccer. I see baseball. I see uh, basketball. Obviously, NASCAR, Formula One. I like for me, my go-to sports are auto racing. Kyle is just going into alert mode. There we go. Well, there you go. There you go, T. Rich. Smitten is accepting new people. Still there. I also saw hockey there. So yeah. And that's, uh, that's awesome to see uh, about the wide variety of sports that uh, uh, people watch, especially that uh, frequents this stream. Of course, I don't know anything about stick and ball sports, but uh, I do know me some racing. Alright, next time, next time. I don't know, Smith. Random question: If I had an Xbox, would you accept me into your league or no? Out, out of out of curiosity. Bacon should be banned for life. Okay, no, those are fighting words. 
you've yeed your last haw. Alright, this time. You would accept me? Aw. Dicey there, but we're good. Are getting bald. <laughs> Time them out! <laughs> Too bad we're better. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? Okay, based on what I've seen, based on what I've seen, uh, NASCAR, oh, sorry, blah. Xbox has more people on it for na in terms of NAS, this is all in terms of like NASCAR Heat 4, okay? Xbox has more people on it, but PS4 has the cleaner racing. We have about 18 people, but only get around 13 per race. That seems like one of my uh, the, my fast lane racing league uh, uh, turnouts. Because Daytona, of course, is always uh, the biggest race of the season, so they always go to that. But as the season goes on, uh, attendance starts to uh, dwindle. NASCAR, who's your favorite F1 driver? Because you said you watch that occasionally. Do you even have one? Bacon is like eating Mc McDonald's food. Well, sometimes you just are in the mood for McDonald's, honestly. McDonald's food is is good though. Uh, some some of it, some of it, David. I I I would agree with you, but some of it is uh, bad. No, <laughs> fires are good. Went up way too far right there. You get the same thing every time, uh, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Honestly, okay, my go-to McDonald's order is um, a uh, double cheese. You know, simple. I know. Call me basic. Uh, medium fry and a four-piece. That's that's like my that's my usual from McDonald's. But I can't remember the last time I had McDonald's. I don't think I even had it in 2020. Like, at all, period. We're talking about McDonald's, uh, but honestly, if I were to compare the two, honestly, I know this is going to trigger some people. I think McDonald's is better than Wendy's. That's just me. Don't get me wrong. Their Frosties are amazing. I love Wendy's Frosties. But I think uh, McDonald's is objectively better. In terms of service, Wendy's is better. But food-wise, I, 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 uh, I prefer McDonald's over Wendy's. Wendy's fries are good. Yeah, they are good. If I, if, if I were to get my usual from, like, Wendy's as opposed to McDonald's, I would have a better time at McDonald's. Christ. What's your turn one right there? Oh, and NASCAR saying Lewis Hamilton because he's the only guy I watch closely? Okay. You need to get some Charles Leclerc in there. He's the uh, up-and-comer. This will be his third year in Formula 1. And he's already won two races. Careful, still there. Yep, 40 more laps. All clear. Oh, wow. That turn would have been good. And Sublime is Max. Yeah, I figured as much uh, that you would be a Max fan with all 
I thought you were talking Red Bull. I really hope Red Bull does uh, does really well. I think Max is the up and coming superstar. Max is on like I feel like him, Charles uh, and um, George Russell and Lando are the future of uh, Formula One. Yeah, let's actually let's do some crank it up. Go into in car cam, do two laps of that. Why are you doing that? Um, okay, let's see here. Who, who was asking if I was using real control? T-Rich. Um, I use controller all day, every day. Here, let's do another. I, I, I wanted to do this camera uh, shot right here. Sieg's in second. Go get him, Ryan Sieg. You got this. How many more laps of fuel do we have? Five? I think we should be able to make this in two more stops. Gonna let Chase go. Not even in the playoffs, Chase. There we go. Welcome to your first league, there, T. Rich. Or is it actually is this your first uh, first uh, league or no? Which, by the way, David, don't think I didn't see that. I'm so glad you made that, by the way, for crank it up. You know, you guys can also just. Request to crank it up whenever you want it. Ooh. Car there on the inside. Clear low, bud. Nope. Oh, okay. Bye, Noah. Car in front of you. Sitting this time. Don't know what that was about. Did I even get rear end damage? Did he? No idea what that was about. Wow. Car there on the inside. Uh. All right, let's see here. There we go. The 
All right, so NASCAR requested to crank it up, so let's go. All right, next lap, next lap. Here we'll con uh, we'll can we'll continue that uh, uh, after the pit. I have to make sure I uh, don't screw up this uh, pit road. Back it down, back it down. There we go. If you think about it, crank it up is just a nice way of asking you to stop talking. Damn! Damn! Okay. Wow. Jesus. Dude, kill me while I'm down. Oh my god. <laughs> Christ. Dang. Okay. I, I, I see how uh, I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> Expose him. God, my coffee's amazing. Clear out, hammer down. All right, let's continue. Uh, let's continue that here in a. Uh... All right, here we go. Do one more lap of it. Car outside, hold your line. Careful, still there. Another news, Kaz is still backwards. Oh yeah, he's just gonna remain backwards the entire race. It's fine. Let him do his own thing. As long as he's happy, you know? Uh, let's see here. T-Rich asking, is it weird talking to people that don't, uh, that don't talk to you? What, what do you mean by that? You guys are talking to me right now. Uh, Cod Life saying, "I heard that uh, Kyle Larson deleted his Instagram. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Honestly, I'm sure he's getting a lot of flame. So who knows? Perhaps. It's true. So that means uh, official Kyle Larson uh, Instagram handle is free real estate. Gotcha." So get it, get it now. Pick it up while it's uh, while it's hot. Dang, chat. This race has uh, this third stage has really blown by. We're almost 20 laps to go. Will Larson get it right in 2021? Probably not. My personal opinion? No. My hot take is that he'll not return to uh, the Cup Series. And that he'll just continue doing dirt. But that's my hot take, though. I don't think it's actually going to happen. Oh, Chad, you want to see someone dangerous? Don't do this at home. 
I, I, I disagree with what Eric Estep was saying uh, about that. All right, chat, you want to see someone really dangerous here? Well, he is banned, but he, um, you can just do that. Woo. I can go deeper, actually. Hang on. The wall just juts out, so, like, it's really... You got to really make sure that you avoid it. Yeah, he he's banned, but he completed the sensitivity training, so he can come back. But it, it's going to be a matter of if the teams want him or not. There we go. Get that little cushion of air, you know? And final, la final laps, you have to crank it up. I'll do it with five to go. How about that? All right, it's official. 20 to go. Because I'm a lap down, so that makes sense. Yeah, it's more of a matter of sponsors, and hit all of his sponsors dropped him. Apart from his dirt sponsors, every cup sponsor dropped him. Which makes sense. I mean, it totally, 100%. It'd be dumb if they wouldn't, you know? Larson will go to the 48. No, 100% no. That is not, no. Uh, Rick Hendrick is not going to have a potential uh, liability in terms of PR on his team. If anything, um, if anything, he'll be with a lower teal ride. Oh, wow. Thank you, Elliot Sadler. He already has a prima donna in the nine. Oh, which nine are you talking about? Because uh, pick your answer correctly. Hold your line. Got one inside. All clear. It is just insane how the AI can enter uh, the pit lane here at Gateway and actually pick up time. Don't be <laughs> sublime calling out the mod. Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, who died? Who is that? Is that Steven Light? I'm just waiting for David to just go uh, postal one day and just uh, uh, start abusing his mod privileges. Whoa, t Twitch made an update. What? That's new. That never happens. David's about to ban everyone, me included. All right, so we have technically three more laps until we pit. So lap 168, it's still gonna be four, four fresh tires. Car is handling a lot better though. I haven't really made any adjustments, but like, it tells you the date they joined when you click on a name. Oh, really? It also tells you the date that uh, when they followed and all that. At least it should, because you have, because since you're a mod, you have mod view. So that's when you. Uh, so that's probably what you're seeing.
Who missed NASCAR? I'm pretty sure everyone in this uh, in chat did. Their COD life. I I can tell you 100% I did. So you're stalking us now, says Sublime. Ooh, David, what's your response for that? You followed in 1938? Ooh, damn. Wow, my first follow before I was even born. Oh, David's getting the dirt on, uh, getting the dirt, getting uh, getting uh, um, join dates and all that. He's just filling his back pocket. He's just like, okay, just writing that down for future reference. All right, am I pinning this on? Yep, I'm pinning this lap. You're almost out of gas. Back it down, back it down. Your tires are getting pretty bad. Your tires are getting pretty bad. Uh, I don't need that much. Actually, no, I do, I guess. <laughs> I guess I do need that much fuel. In other news, Kaz Grow is still uh, backwards. Austin Cindric's out. Uh, might as well fill up my, uh... I was gonna, I was gonna say the most cringiest thing I've ever heard, but, so I won't even say it. Okay, get back in there, let's go. It was like, it was like one of those moments where I was like, on second thought, I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't say that. Nah, <laughs> no. Nah, I'm not saying it. it. Like I said, it was just cringy. I'm just like, it's just like, ugh. Uh, you're wrong. This is the secondary account. I made it because, uh... Careful, still there. Because you first uh, joined in 2015. Because you lost a first? Oh, you lost a first? Oh, rip. God, I don't, I don't remember. I remember when Twitch used to be just in TV. So, but I never had an account there. I would just remember uh, watching uh, just in TV a lot. Okay, Chad, what I was about to say is like, okay, time to fill up my tum tum with cough cough. Meaning. Uh, tend to fill up my, uh, stomach with the rest of this coffee. And that was also gonna go into more detail, but like, oh no, now I'm out. And I'm just like, that is the most cringy thing I've ever heard. I feel disgusting, I need a shower after that. Wait, Twitch was Justin TV? Yep. Yep. I forget if they renamed it or they got bought out. I can't remember which one. You should stream your group races. My oh, my league races. Yeah, I was actually planning on it tonight. Like I said, we're at Homestead for uh, uh, for the truck series. Like I said, I have a I I feel like I have a good chance at at uh, winning. But we'll see though. Yeah, that would explain your 2014 thing then. Yep. I can't remember what year that Justin TV became Twitch, though. Uh, that is one thing that escapes me. Anytime you double repeat words, it's gotta be cringe. Oh, like Daddy Braddy? <laughs> oh. Like that, or, uh... Or uh, something different. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> T-Rich is just like, no. What was the first streamer I've ever watched? Um, okay. Huh. I want to say my, the first streamer I remember watching from uh, Justin TV was, goes. I can't remember his name, but he played Modern Warfare 2. No, it's a term of endearment, Sublime. Sarcastically speaking, of course. I I can't remember what it was in uh in Modern Warfare 2, but uh I can't remember what his name was, but I It wasn't Sandy Ravage, I know that. It it was a guy that played exclusively on Justin TV. Um, but the guy on Twitch, and I actually still watch him to this day, is a uh, guy that guy plays Hearthstone, uh, name of Osmodai TV. Hello, Wall. <laughs> oh, Jesus, who died? Oh no, Ryan Sieg! Oh rip. Well, there goes Ryan Sieg's race. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. So, looks like one to go here. I forgot you have cautions off for this. Yeah. White flag, next time by. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Smith, uh, yeah. That's what uh, I heard. He's like, want to be uh, friends or... Uh, like YouTube friends or anything like that. Yeah, I just immediately delete them on my uh, on my YouTube. That's what I do. Clear high, clear high. Oh, crank it up! Oh, we're on the last lap, chat. Dang. Uh, one spot away from a top ten. Ugh. Oh well. Sometimes I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, we had. Oh, hang on. You're about to see uh, absolute destruction here. Bam! Damn it, BJ McLeod. Yeah, that was fun, chat. I enjoyed it. Um. So yeah. Uh, how many did not finish? Okay. So the top five were the only ones that finished on the lead lap. Good talk. Um, Josh Williams. Oh my God, Josh Williams is amazing. Sixth place for him. Um, I wonder how the points are going to look because with Noah Gregson winning, I know he's in the playoffs, so he's automatically moves on to the round of eight. Um, I, you know what? Considering that we are at one point, like twenty seventh, I'm taking it. Christopher Bell sucks to suck, dude. You finished twenty first. Yeah. <laughs> no Fs given by McLeod. Exactly. Exactly. Austin Cindric. Okay, so we have one from 31st on back is the DNS. So Stephen Light, Austin Cindric, Ross Chastain, uh, Brandon Brown, Kaz Grau, Jeffrey Earnhardt. I forgot he was even in the race. Honestly, I didn't even see Jeffrey Earnhardt the entire race. And then uh, Matt Mills and John Jackson. Ooh, what happened, Noah? What are you doing? Got in uh, contact with uh, Jeff uh, Jonathan Rimacek there. So points-wise, fourth, okay. Honestly, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. Walk away from this with a... Uh, 
with a little bit of pep in my step, you know? But yeah, Noah Gregson moves on. Michael Annette, Tyler Eck, and myself. So P4. I'll take I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, Cole, Ca Cole Caster? Cole Caster with the fast slap. Um, Noah Gregson actually broke the trend of uh, leading the most laps and the race. Wait, go back to the top ten. Right here. Uh, Josh Williams. Uh, basically the ones that aren't usually up here. Jeremy Clements, Greg Alding, uh, Josh Williams. Uh, those are the people that aren't usually up here. Damn. I'm actually surprised. So yeah. Uh, Cole Custer with a fast slap of a 33 flat. Damn. I was like, I was half a second off of that. And that was like my fastest slap. Noah Gregson broke the trend of uh, leading the most laps and winning the race. 90 minutes away from Darrington. Let's go. I'm excited as well, dude. Jeffrey Earnhardt sucks to suck, but oh well. We move on with our lives. All right, so um, we're going to Mid Ohio next. And honestly, I feel like super confident on all my road courses. So I feel like we're gonna have a good race there. And in terms of the settings, of course, Chad, as we flip through, we have the usual stuff. No cautions, of course. Four times tire wear, full damage, 100% race length, usual stuff. 105 hardest difficulty. Um, and of course, you know we have auto transmission. You know, expert dif uh, difficulty presets. All the way down here to the usual stuff. And I even have less tire wear effect. Um, we have uh, a very interesting concoction for the uh, playoffs right now. Because it's a mix of drivers that aren't usually up here. Like Jeremy Clements and Greg Golding being there on the cut line. And then you have Ross Chastain who won two races this season down below. Elliot Sadler, I don't even know how he even got here. But yeah. All right. So, chat, as we go to Mid-Ohio next time, we are actually going to Bristol for the truck series for our uh, truck 12-track championship mode, and that will be tomorrow. So, I am really looking, very much looking forward to that. But don't think that this isn't the last stream for today. I will be streaming the league race that I'm going to be a part of, and that will be at 8.30. So, hopefully I'll see you all then. Up until then, though, chat, you guys have been an absolute pleasure to race for. Thank you, all. thank you all so much for coming on out. So uh, about that watch party, yeah, that, definitely that'll be. Uh, Sadler won a race. When did, when did he win a race? Hang on, hold 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 up hold up. He did not win a race. False. False. Yeah, false. What are you talking about, Chad? Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, Sadler did not win a race. I think he just pointed his way in because he finished six there. Um, uh, thirty second there. Good talk. Um, ninth, fourth, eleventh, and thirteenth. And apparently that gets you by. That.